Hey, Rick from Gaston Alley Toys and Antiques. Um, continuing our uh, tips and tricks videos of how to install parts and decals. Um, right now I'm going to try to show you how to install uh, hubcaps in a Tonka tire. Um, thanks to my good buddy Hamish McLaggen over in New Zealand who was asking about this. Um, he was asking how do you install a hubcap in an old Tonka tire. Um, the best way, Hamish, is you contact us and you buy a new Tonka tire. <laughs> Otherwise, um, in all serious though, you can a lot of times make them work. Um, the old ones, if they're hard as a hockey puck, I don't guarantee it. Um, the biggest thing about installing them, if you're going to try to save the tires and install them, is getting the hubcap out safely in the first place. Um, for this, fine tip screwdriver, and they have these little little other picks. Um, I actually picked these up at Harbor Freight store. Um, it's like a little mini ice pick, but it's got a little bit of hooks and bends in it. Um, so you can kind of work with the hubcap a little bit. Um, if you're just going to go in and pr try to pry that old that bad hubcap out, you're going to end up wrecking the, the, the lip that holds it in. Um, so the more careful you can be by taking hubcaps out, the better off you're always going to be. Um, start with a little fix. Actually, a lot of times you can try to work just the flat tip screwdriver in. Are you zooming in on that so you can see? Okay. Um, between the hubcap and the tire, if you can try to free up that little lip there like that, stick the tire in and just manually turn the, hub, the wheel with your finger so you can kind of get that freed up okay then try sliding the hubcap all the way to one side or the other if you can then grab some smaller picks start working in there try to get the tire out as long as you're doing it and you're not wrecking this edge as it comes out you may be able to get one back in this tire is still pretty soft and pliable so we're probably going to be able to get a new one back in okay once you have the hubcap out use one of those small picks of the screwdriver Try to clean that groove out that it came out of. Okay? That's the biggest thing. You have to try to clean that groove out a little bit. Don't go cutting in there because um, then the hubcap may, may, may cut a groove too much. But just kind of clean it out. Get all the dirt and debris out of it. Okay? Take the new hubcap that you get, hopefully from us. Um, slide it in. Start it on the one end. Okay? Grab your screwdriver and go crosswise. Now the solid hubcap is a little bit tougher because you don't have the holes to work with. On the, the triangle and the round holes you can... Okay, so take the screwdriver in, try to slide it back towards you as much as you can. Okay, you want this lip to try to be under that lip, then go back to your small picks. Just try to pry it down in slowly, all the way around. Okay, very important. Okay, try to get centered with your finger. And you can kind of run that screwdriver around that lip again. Okay. Get the hubcap centered in the in the lip. There you go. New hubcap and an old tire. A lot of times you're still going to see a little bit of marking around here, but that's just unavoidable, especially in the old tires if they're really brittle. Again, like I said, if they're really brittle, hockey puck hard, you don't want to even bother with it. We have tires here. They're cheap enough. If you need a set of four, if you need a set of six, we sell them by the case of 200 um, for special pricing. Um, again, tires and hubcaps available on toydecals.com. You can reach us through gasolinealleytoys.com or Gasoline Alley Toys the Antiques Facebook page or just call the shop 608-519-2151. Thanks and I look forward to keep doing these videos.